In this lesson, we're going to look at reverse volumes. What I mean by that is we're going to be given the volume of the shape, and we're going to have to try and work backwards to either work out the height, the length, or the breadth. In this case, we're going to try and work out the height of the shape. So we kind of already know the answer here. It's telling us the volume is 192 meters cubed. We're working back to see what 8 times 4 times something makes 192. So the way to show the working for this is to write the normal formula out, volume equals length times breadth times height. And the strange thing is we're going to put a number in this side this time because we know the answer to the volume is 192, so that's where that would go. That would go underneath the V for volume. Now we also know that the length is 8 and the breadth is 4. It's the height that we don't know, so we're just going to leave that as H. Now we can definitely do this 8 times 4 part, so we'll do that 4 eighths of 32. So I'm going to write it again, 192, but instead of writing 8 times 4, I'm going to write 32 times H. So this is where we should think, well, how do I work out what 32 times something makes 192? What do I have to do with these two numbers to work out this? And hopefully most of you think, I need to divide these two numbers. So it's how many 32s go into the 192? So it's 192 divided by 32. And you can just do that in your calculator and you would pop out with 6 metres. And you can test that out. 8 times 4 times 6 in your calculator and you would get 192 metres cubed. So this is what's called a reverse question, working out one of these parts when we've been given the volume. Okay, I'll look at some more examples here just to clarify what we've done. So again, in this one, we're told that the volume is 60 centimetres cubed and we don't know what the height is. So you start again with your formula. Volume is length times breadth times height. And we're going to fill in the 60 again over this side. Now the length and the breadth I know from the shape, it looks like 5 and 4. So I'm going to put that in as well, 5 times 4 and I don't know what H is, that's what I'm trying to work out. Now your first job is to get this bit, because you know what 5 times 4 is, we know that's 20, so 60 equals 20 times something, and some of you might know the answer already, you might say, oh it's 3, 3 times 20 makes 60. But, we'll just write it down anyway, just in case these numbers are harder to work out, you need the technique, so it's 60 divided by 20, and your height is 3. And again, you can double check, it's 5 times 4, 20 times 3, 60, that works. Again, notice we're not putting cubic centimetres up here, height's just a measure of length, that would just be 3 centimetres. Okay, here's three more examples to finish the lesson off. So this first one is the same, I've got the volume of 48, I'm trying to work out the height, I'll put all the numbers in, so I know that was 48, I know these numbers are 6 and 2, and I'm trying to work out the height. So again, I know what 6 times 2 is, I know that makes 12, so we've got 48 is 12 times something, I divide the 48 by the 12, and your answer is 4. The next two examples are slightly different in the sense of I'm trying to work out the breadth here, and I'm trying to work out the length here. Everything else stays the same though, so let's look at this purple one in the middle first. So the volume this time is 88, we're told it here. We know the length, which is 4. We don't know the breadth, we're just going to leave that as B. And we know the height from looking at it's 11. Now just because the 4 and 11 are not next to each other, you can still multiply them. So you can still do 4 times 11, that's 44. Again, some of you know the answer now. 44 times something makes 88, and that would be the breadth. But again, we'll show our working. 88 divided by 44, and that's 2, 2 centimetres. Okay, last one to look at here, we're trying to work out the length, again we've been given the volume, we've also been given the breadth and the height. So we'll feed our numbers in, 25 equals length times 2.5 times 1. Again, I can see there, I'll just get rid of that, sorry. We can see here that 2.5 times 1, we're able to do that, it's just 2.5, so we've got this. Again, some of you might be able to see the answer, but it's 25 divided 2.5, and that would just be 
10 centimeters to finish. 